Hi YouTube, Engineer Boy 100 here, and finally I'm getting this boost leak test video produced. I'm so excited about this video. I've been having a lot of fun getting ready for it, and it's going to be one of a three-part series. This particular video is going to be basically the three different ways that I have decided um, is the best way to check for boost leaks, and then the second video will be actually you know going out to the vehicle and testing for the leaks and then once I find the leaks I'll do another video where we actually repair them. So first let's take care of a little business and thank some people who actually helped me put this all together. I'll be right back. Okay so first up I want to thank DJ Markski of Markski Tuning for helping me through the forums and through um, 996 Turbo on Facebook. Uh, with lots of different help over actually the past couple of years or so. Um, Garrett Levins, he gave me some of these boost hoses. Thanks Garrett. Alex uh, Palm, he gave me the idea to use the stethoscope so we'll probably be showing that down when we're actually doing the testing and I'll probably reference him again. Um, Paul Newell helped out on the forums. Heron Ali, um, a boost tube offer. He was going to give me a, a boost tube, but I had already gotten one. So, but I want to say thanks for being willing. I appreciate that. Um, Mike Wilson, he helps out on the forums. Uh, Michael Randon, um, Throttle Connect suggestion. He wanted me to <laughs> um, make sure I included the fact that when you remove the Y pipe, you can connect directly to the throttle and that can help you find leaks because you can pressurize it with the Y pipe removed so you have room to actually uh, work in there and fix your leaks. Carl Henley, wow, we've been in contact for years now and uh, appreciate all your help and comments and, in the forum and in the uh, 996 Turbo on Facebook. And Todd Mediak helped on, on the forum as well. So all right guys, uh, one more and then we'll get back to the video. All right, I wanted to give one more thank you to our, our friends out at uh, Quality German Auto Recycling in Rancho Cordova. Uh, these guys have really quality parts. They have a wide range of parts on different vehicles from the uh, Volkswagen to the Porsche to the BMW to Mercedes. All kinds of really good parts. They're right here in California and you know the parts are gonna be in pretty good shape because we have really good weather out here in California. And if you're not in California, don't hesitate to give them a call, 916-822-5656 or long distance, 888-394-9472 because they do ship parts. Give them a call. All right, thanks a lot guys. Let's get back to the video. Hey, I'm back, okay guys. Here we go, we've got three different methods that I've decided to test my vehicle for boost leaks. Method number one, at the outlet of the turbos. So I purchased these two little aluminum uh, pieces and would you believe it, these are fuel filler necks. These are fuel filler necks and they're not made for this purpose but they were the perfect size they're aluminum, they look nice, high quality, and they seal really well. So these, the little caps come off, like so, and there's a gasket, an O-ring inside of there, inside that cap, and it seals really good so that you don't lose any of your, your pressure. And I just got these uh, on eBay for like $19. Uh, I drilled this and put a Schrader valve in it so that I could put these in the, uh, the boost tubes at the turbo. So this is number one. This is what you're going to do if you want to test your whole system. Mainly you want to make sure you, you include, by doing these, you want to include the connections on both sides of your intercoolers and at, at the Y pipe itself. Then the second way, I use these once again, but I use these pipes. These are the boost pipes or boost tubes that actually go on the car and this opening is about two inches so this fits perfectly in here so I put these in these these two little uh, hoses and then I connect these at the Y pipe and the reason I want this set up here is because 
I can check for boost leaks, especially once I've already established that I'm good for leaks at my uh, intercoolers. I can direct, uh, connect these directly at the Y pipe and just check if I think I'm having boost leak. And if I'm not having boost leak, I don't have to jack up the car and lower the engine or any of that stuff. I can just really quick pop off the, the ones on the car, put these in, test it, have one in each one, test the boost leak, uh, the pressure, and see if there's any leaks. I love it. So this is me method number uh, number two. Now, why would I want to use one over the other? This is quick and easy, and it's a quick and easy te uh, 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 test just to check. This one is is very comprehensive. It checks your entire system. Okay, both sides, your intercoolers, your Wi-Fi connection, um, all of the other um, connections inside the engine, and your throttle and everything. Okay, so here's the third way. One, two, and here's number three. This is basically a reduction from two and a half inches to three inches. Three inches, I believe, is the size of the throttle. I should have double checked it, but I didn't yet, so don't, don't quote me on this. We'll find out when we get to the car. But this um, uh, reduction, I thought, just because I already had this um, connection here for the, the Schrader valve and for the uh, the pressure to pressurize the system. So this is two and a half inches and I already had this so that's the only reason I use two and a half to three. Okay so you just use these hose clamps on, on uh, both sides. This is on the side of the take a look at that what it looks like inside and then I have of course a clamp that goes over the throttle. So now why would I want to use this this method. I have been told by some of these wonderful people that I showed you earlier on the list that you sometimes need to remove the Y pipe to have room to work. And at the same time, while you're um, removing that Y pipe to have room to work, you want to still pressurize the system so you can hear and find the leaks. So here is the third way that you want to be able to check your boost. Now, let's go down to the car and do some checking. Thanks for watching.